Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Agito Live video. This time we're going to be doing an account review for uh, Skullkeeper in the chat, Seppi something on Discord, and Amelia on actual on the actual account. So that's what I'm going to call you. I'm either going to call you Skull or Amelia, basically the rest of this account review, so I hope you're ready for that. Um, yeah. Uh, this is just an account review. Uh, they actually have been playing for a, almost a year, and they've got actually a lot of questions that they want help with. They want gear, gear they should upgrade, ships to build next, fleets they can make now, how to prepare for chapter 14 and 15, and some Operation Siren help. So we're going to be going over the account on a general, you know, overall, how do we improve, how do we improve from where we're at, and what good choices have we made already. So. I forgot I got different names. I had to change my nickname on the server to match the one on Twitch. No problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. All right, so first secretary is um, Renegsberg or Reggie, as I kept calling her every time she popped up on my damn screen uh, with her very, 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 very suggestive skin. Very, very good. Very, very good. So, all right, let's go to the next. Let's go next. Plymouth, good choice. Agir, good choice. Um, This is Juan. Juan, as I keep calling her. Just Juan. Juan. I know it's not the first one, but I, it's just the first one we see. I'm not saying like the actually the first one that you have in your slot. That's just the first one we see. So, and Unzen. Okay. 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 So working on affection for Juan. I would like to call her Juan. We've got uh, a 120 Unzen, a 125 Reggie, a 120 Plymouth, and a 125 Agir. No oaths. Plymouth not quite done yet. Let's go ahead and look here and see what our collection is. 54.9% collection. Been playing for a year. I feel like that's pretty decent. Pretty decent. Have you missed any ships in any events since you started playing the game? That is the that is a question. Also, do you really need to? Yes. Have you missed any of the ships since you started playing the game? I missed two on Atelier Riza and one on a few events. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, got your medals all set up. Exercises are going. Exercise win rate's good. This is actually a lot of attacks for uh, for uh, for only a, for almost a year. That's pretty good, I think. Obviously, you're not fully power gaming at this point. So, we move on. We move on. Level 113 for playing for almost a year at League 113. I think it's pretty decent. I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty decent. Considering I have accounts that have been playing for longer than that and don't have don't even that level, so uh, I just don't grind as much. Uh, I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. So uh, you are a spender. You have some gems in here. Maybe these are free to play gems. You have a lot of skins. So uh, gold oil cap, just over oil cap and just over gold cap, which is actually pretty good. Into the dock we go. Let's find out what we're working with here. First, we're going to look at the oath ships that you have. Wait. Zero oaths. Zero oaths. What? Zero oaths? That's nuts. That's crazy. I. You know what? I. Zero oaths. Holy shit! No oath. Oathless. Maidenless and oathless. Holy shit. Holy crap, an actual, yeah, an actual virgin account. <laughs> oh my god, that's, that's, I, I've never seen this before. This is actually crazy. Also, have you bought dock space? I feel like this is a very low amount of dock space. This might, I don't think this is standard out of the box dock space. I think standard of the box, a bit of dock space? Okay. Wow. No oaths. Not a single oath. Wow, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. No, no oaths. No, no oaths at all. Let me see something. Let me clip this. Clip that as well. Might not be in the thumbnail, but it'll be somewhere in the thumbnail. You know what I'm saying? Might not be the thumbnail, but it'll be somewhere in the thumbnail. Anyways, so no oaths. Enjoying the bachelor life, yeah. 
Um, lots of 120. Let's see, 125, 125, 125. Okay. A couple 125s, lots of level 100s. Okay, not a ton of ships leveled up. Do you have anybody in your favorites? You have a ton of ships in your favorites. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's look at skins. Skins. Let's see what skins you have. So you've bought Unzin, uh, Unicorn, Saratoga, Reggie, Javelin is free. That's, uh, I think all these are free skins. Hold up. Unzin skin's not free. Reggie skin's not free. But I'm pretty sure all the other ones are free. Uh, you can add to the, yeah, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do when I get to that point. I think all of these skins are free except for Reggie and Unzin. Except for Reggie and Unzin, I think all these skins are free. Kage is cruise pass? Okay. Kage is cruise pass. But I think the rest are free. That's, is this skin free? No, this skin is not free. This is a bot skin. He's rented. Oh, it's rented right now. That's right. It's rented. Damn. That's crazy. That's, what an interesting account. Someone who's not spent very much money at all. Okay, well, um, let's see what you're working with here in your ultra rares. Um, yeah, you're working on all the ultra rares, cool. Let's look at your battleships. See if there's any battleships you should probably work on that you're not already working on. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I don't see Monarch. Monarchless? No Monarch? You might cry seeing the research. All right, we'll get to that. Uh, we'll get there eventually. But so far, I see no monarch, so that's already an L. Um, da -da 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 -da. So I'm include ultra in there. Okay, you're already you're already working on all the good ones. You're even working on Nagato, which is fine. Hood is pretty good with her augment, but there's like at this point I'm not gonna like recommend anything that you've already got like a covering for, so we're gonna go move on from that. We're gonna go to CVs. Wait, you don't have you don't have you don't have Shinano and you don't have Hakuryu. Oh, buddy, 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 pal, guy, friend, you you need some carriers. All right, so for your World 15, if you're going to try to start going to our World 15, you already got Illustrious in there. Um, You're probably going to want to work on Muse as well. And, yeah. Centaur can be a pretty good option, too. Yeah, those will help you with your World 15 for your uh, off flag. Didn't get the event that I was working on hockey. Well, now you can get Shin uh, Shinano from uh, from the pity system. So yeah. you can get Shinano from the exchange pity system now. So you should be good. You should be all good. But an hour and a half ago. Um, um, about an hour and a half ago. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. So your CAs. Honestly, the CAs you're working on are the better ones. Chikuma is actually not a bad option Um, in the future when you do actually get those characters. I'm going to go ahead and add her on that list. Um, 
you already have pretty pretty much the better ones. Let's be perfectly honest here. You're already you're already working on the best ones. These 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 two are quite good. Heinrich is quite good, so that's good. So your CLs. What are you already working on? Helena, Sila, Plymouth, San Diego, Noshiro, Helena Meta, Jinsu Meta, yep, all good. Sirius is actually super good. Um Helmet, if you invest in her, is actually really good too. Uh, there are better answers than this for anti airships because you have San Diego, Guam, and all that other stuff. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Okay, DDs. Oh, you don't have Kazuguma in here. Psh, yeah, Kazuguma, buddy. Kazuguma. Um, you don't have Bristol. LM Sumner can be quite good. Z46 can be quite good. Mm. Yeah. So I think I think this is a good Yeah, this is a good start. If you're gonna be using auto, here's the thing, if you're gonna be using auto, um Do you have Z1? No. If you ever get Z1, Z1 is super good. Uh, one must redeem the account review uh, channel point thing to get on the list. And if it's not there, it means it's already been redeemed enough time. The list is already full. Okay. Um. You got a wolf pack and an eagle pack going, so you're 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 quite good. So if you're going to be using the Eagle, you may want to consider using Flasher because she's quite strong. Even though even though they don't pair up, like they just above each other, they're still she's just really strong. So is Homura. Homura is apparently one of the better subs in the game. I forgot what the actual setup with Homura is. I think it's like Homura U47 and something else, but she's super good. Um, and you can also always use these guys too, actually. Okay. So those are the only additions I would take, I would add to your list is the ones I just added. Um, Homura, um, Kazuguma is a big one. Uh, and then the Illustrious Sisters and Centaur for your World 15 carrier fleets. Sirius for buffing those carrier fleets and or having good anti-air. And yeah, yeah. If you're just playing like meta characters, this is, this is the way to go. Before I got Wolfpack, I had Archerfish of the Tempo, so that makes sense. Flasher, Archerfish, an Eagle, Eagle sub is good. Yeah. You have options in your submarines, so but yeah. No, I, I I think this is I think this is plenty. I think this is plenty. I think this is good. This is good stuff. Move this back a little bit. So more in frame. Um. Yeah, no. Uh, what you're working on, like, if these are the ships that you're working on, you already had most of the good ones all set up. And I don't disagree with any of these choices. Like, these are all, these are all, like, if you want, if you want meta fleets, strong fleets, these are the fleets you need to work on. Um, one of the things you might want to consider, though, is... You do not, the only healers you have are these two, and you are going to need another. You're going to need a third healer by the time you get to world 15. Um, yeah, you're going to need a third healer by the time you get to world 15 for sure. So keep an eye out for uh, Rioho, Volga, um, and any of those, those ships like that for you in particular. Also, I am noticing a distinct lack of priority ships, guys. You have pain leave and Percy. Okay, then pain leave. Pain leave. Pawn pa leave. Will uh, is pawn leave a healer? I don't know if she's a healer. Is she a healer? Oh yeah, yeah, she's true. Yep, definitely a healer. Okay, yeah, pain leave. That's another healer. That's good. Probably they're probably better for like a boss healer. That makes sense. Okay. Um. Then yeah, you're pretty set. Then honestly, you're like basically you need levels at this point, and that'll give you everything you need for for World uh, 15. You need levels and then the gearing. Let me look at your gear. Yeah, 
Yo, 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 yo. Okay, you have, you have the, you have the Unzen gun on her right now. I'm assuming you're getting a better gun. Um, I'm pretty sure Unzen prefers HE, but I could be wrong. I don't remember. I think she just boosts the other fleet's HE. I don't think it really matters. But I think she is visually better with HE. Okay. Um, yep. Um, okay, so AVP, you need to have an Iron Blood ship on her somewhere here. So, um... Hmm. Yeah, you need to get an Iron Blood ship on her for her all her bonuses. Yeah, the Torp Bomber is usually people with the Iron Blood plane. I like all your sub setups. They're very, very straightforward. I'm not saying anything terribly egregious though, so you're you're good. But like for um Hey bro, you got Did you know you had a did you know you had a Plymouth gun sitting here? Did you know you had a Plymouth gun just like sitting here? I don't know. Just, just thought you should know you, you have a Plymouth guy just sitting here. <laughs> um. Okay, so this plane right here, this fighter, uh, you can use this on. So some of the gear to make, right? You can use this fighter on on AVP to trigger her passive, or you can use it on other carriers as well when you need when you're fighting medium and light armor and craft it how much gold do you have oh you have a decent amount of gold okay i don't i don't feel so bad well then i'm gonna make this i'm gonna make your prototype bam <laughs> um you should definitely make these bam how much space do you have Maybe plenty of space um you should definitely make this and use it this is actually a really good gun for auto if you don't have better for her at the moment. I'm pretty sure this is this is like her best her best weapon. Um, you should make all three of these and use them. That's uh, good for light and medium armor. Uh, you should make this. This is best one of the best CL HE guns. And that's that's all I'm gonna say on that one. As far as like gear, you should make. Um, if you are lacking in uh, evasion gear and things along those lines, you should definitely craft these and these, right? Hydraulics and naval camouflages, they're super good. And uh, if you're lacking HP on your destroyers, making extra fire suppressors can also be really good too. So... Obviously, these battleship guns are super good for all your battleships. It looks like you had already been making them, though, so you're fine. This is a good substitute for your battleships when you don't have its upgraded version. But yeah, for your auto, you can use that CL gun that I was just talking about. No, not that one, but uh, one I was just saying. Where'd it go? Like this one. 
It's basically made for the Iron Blue Destroyers that use seal guns. You can do something like this. Alright, because it's when equipped by DD, all the ship's armor damage modifiers increase by 15%. Super, 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 super good. Super, super, super good. And then... What was that? Uh, the Iron Blood one, right? In order to trigger her, whatchamacallit, having her, the BF AP rocket on her. To get the extra efficiency. And you can have this Iron Blood in any spot. Like, you can have an Iron Blood Torpedo Bomber or an Iron Blood Die Bomber or whatever. And it'll give that extra efficiency. But if you just do it with the fighter, it works as well. That fighter is mostly used against medium and light armor. Um, What other gear did I just craft? I mean, you already had most of your battleships on on this, which is fine. And then... No, these, these are fine. These are fine. Alright, let's go ahead and look at your depot, and we'll go from there. We'll go from there. Let's look at your base depot. You got four rings sitting in the wings. Are these... Oh, so one of them has to be the free ring you get. And then the other, and then we got another free ring for the anniversary. So did you buy a pack? Did you buy a double pack? Yeah, at least two of them are free. So you had to have bought, probably, I would, I would assume you bought a double pack. One of the double packs that came out recently. At one point there was the two at the reduced price. Yeah, yeah, okay. That makes sense. No, no Valentine's yet, which means you were playing after last year's, you started playing after last year's Valentine's, which makes sense. Okay. Um, a good collection of cog chips already, which means you are playing the game pretty consistently. That's good. And a good collection of cognitive arrays uh, as you're getting ready to figure out what ships you're going to take all the way to 125 for later worlds, which is good. And then sitting on 360 cubes, a good amount of cubes while you wait for the next event. You're very picky with Hootie 125. That's a good thing. You should be. Those resources are not are not infinite, and well, they are infinite technically, but they're not cheap, right? They take time. So, good amount of gold plates. Uh, someone's op offside gaming. These are low, which I would assume means you're either crafting a lot of gear or you are just not farming enough. But we'll see. Or you're getting unlucky, one of the two. Lots of blueprints in the way. Retrofit items. A decent amount of other prints as well. This is good. Um, universals. Uh, some food, high efficiency, some XP, so you can level up some of those ships instead. A decent amount of core data. Use a lot of circuit board. They're they are the most commonly used. They are the bottleneck. They are the bottleneck uh, crafting piece, basically, for the game. So no, looks this looks good. This this like this this looks appropriate. I mean, you're working on Hakuryu, but you got a lot of uh, a lot of prints here. You'll probably be able to max her out pretty quickly. Yeah, you're never gonna love. Was good. All right, let's look at the actual gear. Let's see what we got here. So, we got two of the Georgia guns, or not? Yeah, two of the Georgia guns. Uh, one of the New Jersey gun, which we would have had an opportunity on the rerun, which makes sense. Uh, we just crafted this. That's good. You got your first ten right plus thirteen already. You got this. This is good. This is good. You would have had to have bought all three of all four of these. And I'll be honest with you. This might have been a mistake. And the reason I say that, and it's just kind of a hindsight kind of thing, right? Like it just is the for the cost of these items at fifty at twelve, fifteen hundred a core data is not really worth the power that they give to your subs versus buying a shell or some other uh another effective item or even a ship from the core data instead, right? I, I would say that this is minorly a waste to have bought these because they're at this point in the game These are nice to have but they are a luxury item like if you are a new player I would not recommend buying type 93 uh, Type 93s they are kind of a luxury item now that you just like they just don't give enough For it to really matter I think it's important you can buy them or just tell me so I get them later or is I'm gonna do them yeah, like buying one for Unzen is fine. Like if you wanted to buy one and put it on Unzen, that's fine. Um, but I would not. I would not have bought. I would not have bought the others. That's uh, it's kind of a waste uh, because this is how much? How much do they cost? They cost like fifteen or twelve. If I remember correctly, 
It's been a long since I actually bought them. Uh, yeah, they cost 1500 Yeah. They cost 1500 which is nearly two shells, which would give you way more benefit. Way more benefit. You could have bought an Independence, had her retrofitted, and had a badass carrier ready to go, right? Uh, that's, 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 yeah. That's a mild, a mild mistake, I think. Um... You could, for the all the destroyers you like running, you could have bought these seals because these are good HP items. And since you are newer to the game, you have far less multi-HP items outside of toolkits, right? Um, and you could you could buy the the, uh, the the Northern Parliament DD gun, which is actually pretty good. N not the best bang for your buck, but it's not a bad. It's a better choice. It's a better choice than this. This is too expensive. This is just way for what it gives for what this item gives it's way too expensive because it affects very few characters whereas shells are universal across all battleships um health items are universal across all destroyers um dd guns are you know good across almost all dds things along those lines so yeah yeah and also you should be buying you should probably be at the bare minimum you should buy your cognitive arrays every single time like you may not need the cog chips but buying your cog arrays every time is very very important so and then never buy the skins out of here unless you're like you know, starving for them or something i don't know um yeah and every once in a while a fumo is, is good once you're once you once you need them for some of your cas and cls and stuff like that so all right back to uh back to the gear back to the gear now that we've discussed that. Now, that, like I said, that's just one mistake. You, you can't do anything about it now, but in the future, don't buy any more. Just don't. You've got four of them. Move them around as needed. Do not buy any more of them. You you can spend your resources much better than that. Uh, one of these, one of these. It's good. We'd have to have crafted that, which is pretty good. Steam catapults. Yep. Ship maintenance gear. Yep. Uh, frontier metals, quadrupods, yep. These are pretty good. I think these are acoustic, if I remember correctly, right? No, they're not. Um, hmm. Hmm, but they are eagles. I've seen a lot of people use these. I honestly could not tell you if they are good or not. Um, because they're not acoustic, which is, which is usually my fallback on. Um. I think these have a better pattern, so that's not bad. You're good. You have three more waiting in the wings. That's good. Da, 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 da. Bitter or bust, not or true. They are decent, but on Wolfpack, I use the other torps. Makes sense. I assume you have this fire crest for when you craft a wyvern. Did you, did you craft this fire crest or did you buy this fire crest out of the core shop? Because if you bought it out of the core shop, that was a waste. That was another waste of 800, 800 points. You crafted it? Okay. Yeah. Getting ready for that wyvern. Blue technically out of the game is acoustic, but yeah, bitter exists now. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Good, 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 good. This gun is terrible. You should get rid of all these. These are, unless they craft into something. Eh, I just get rid of them. Don't ever use these. That's good. Da, 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 da. Repu is not bad for speed. Like, these are speed. This is for speed tuning, so having a couple of these is never a bad idea. I then re and then realized I won't get the upgrade for a long time. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, the bitter item is only through the weekly. So there was a time when you could technically speed up that process by doing the uh, the SOS missions, but nobody ever fucking did those. They got that's why they got rid of them. No shit, that shit was annoying. So and uh, we just crafted these so. Make sure you level these up. Remember, they're good for uh, 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 medium and light armor. Yeah, SOS didn't have auto search. SOS is gone. Yes, it is. I didn't even know that was gone. Yep, it's gone. They removed it like over a year ago, almost two years ago now. I think honestly, and that's why. And that's why the the submarine mission, the daily, is now the weekly is now four instead of just two. Right? They removed SOS and made it four instead of two. Yeah, everybody ignored it. Nobody was doing it. Literally, literally nobody, nobody, literally nobody. So, 
Um, these are kid to keep because you can upgrade them to this, but otherwise using them is barely, fairly bad. They just, they're just not very good. Um, we just made this for her, so that's good. This is one of the best destroyer guns in the game. SAP is pretty good. Um, these are good. You can farm these. Uh, make sure you keep track of your HP, your HP, like, auxiliary items, because these are generally pretty good to be putting on destroyers as another HP, uh, item. Um, this item can also be really good on a lot of different, uh, heavy cruisers and CBs because of the firepower and evasion. Yeah, you have the gold burn on Chun Kazla. Yep, yep, yep. I see. I see. Farolina, are you trying to tell me you did SOS? Are you trying to tell me you were an SOS gamer? If you were an SOS gamer, I'm sorry. Nobody. Nobody. Only you. Nobody. Only you. Only you. Hell Diver's good. You got a, yeah, you got a bunch of these ready and waiting and built and all ready to go for your battleships. It's good. These are a good substitute when you don't have the gold version. Let's go to AP option, or HP item. Okay. No, oh, this looks, this looks, this looks real good. This looks real good. This looks real good. Um, I do notice, in fact, now looking at it, I, so when you, you have a, you have all these washing machines, right? But as you're trying to get more of them, like I said, you can use the blue, the blue evasion HP item until you get more of these. It's actually, that little bit of stat is actually worth it. Okay. It is actually worth it. So. Any specials you grabbed? You got quite a few. You got quite a few of these crap. Wow, that's a lot. You've you've crapped. I don't know. These are all the ones you get from events. Never mind. No, looks good. Looks real good. Uh, for three forty-five on the depot space. Did you buy or craft this depot space? Let's find out. You. Where else? Lots forty-five. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Awesome. Fantastic. No bot, no bot depot space. Actually, a giga gamer. Honsen. No, oh, only have five of the slots. Currently leveling up these characters. These ones are resting. And the other half of the Odinson. Okay. All right, let's look. Fleet Tech, what the hell? Do your Fleet Tech. It's a lot of gold and resources. Research is rigging, PR six rigging, rigging commission. Eh, that's fine. Um, let's see what you got. Nothing. Q. Rigging. Get that ten, get more ten eyes. There you go. Freaking done. Um, I leave my mob flea on the rest all the time. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, you are currently researching PR four, which is good. PR four is the best PR to like get. Like honestly, I keep saying this, to people. PR four is the best PR is the best priority. Four is the best research you can do when you are starting the game within the last like year. All right, you could start at the very the very first one. You could start at all of them, but doing PR four is probably one of the best researches you can do. Even even if now you can buy, um, you can buy prints with gold. It's still the best research to do because of the gear. All right, the gear, the gear in priority four is so good on all stages. You have ten rise, you have Suze's, you have the fighter, you have the high performances, you have the prototypes, you have the anti -air, you have the anti air guns for battleships and, and other characters need to hit. You have washing machines and you have high performance control radars. So you did everything. Everything. Everything's good. Unless even when you do catch up, you can leave PR4 as background, so I did let it like that for a couple months now. Yeah. Yeah, even the regular AA gun is good. Yep. Like, um uh, like PR6 is fine, like two, but there's like a lot less like these these are all fine. Perfectly fine and serviceable stuff, but PR4 is is, is just is just above and beyond. <laughs> And then all the PR4 ships are 100% like 
you're going to play all of them. They're they're really good. So, all right, let's see what your progress actually is. Uh, a gear is done. AVP is done. Um, Hakuru, you are currently working on, but you have enough prints, I think, to at least get her to three. I think to thirty, or at least near near enough. And by the time you actually unlock her and get it all done, you'll probably have her there. Um. Hello, Linux. Welcome back to the stream. Yeah, a lot of the PR6 guys are a bit niche. I agree. Um, you definitely want to get Anchorage at some point. So let's go back to PR1. You got Rune and you maxed her out. And then you have 300 prints for Monarch? Did you buy the uh, the skips? Is that what this is? I think it feels like you bought the skips. But then didn't use them. From ketchup? Oh, the ketchup. Yeah, 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 yeah. The ketchup, the ketchup. That's right. You used it all in ketchup. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, finish your monarch. Uh, level up your monarch. Unlock your monarch. Oath your monarch. Skin your monarch. As in, give her a skin. Don't, you don't skin her. Um, that came out wrong. Um... And make her your secretary and just be happy with life. That's that's but that's my biggest piece of advice to you is uh work on your monarch. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's my biggest piece of advice. Uh PR two. Um yeah, max out FGG, that's pretty good. Uh Seattle is nice to have and Georgia is nice to have, but again, uh, you can come back to this later. Uh, PR3, you can basically ignore everybody in here except maybe Cheshire. Cheshire is very good. Even as late as World 14 and 15, Cheshire is a very, very strong frontline ship. But honestly, frankly, Drake, Mains, Odin, and uh, Champagne are basically irrelevant. I'm just going to be totally real. They're just totally irrelevant. Totally irrelevant characters. Uh, Plymouth is super, super, super relevant. Rupert is basically irrelevant. Uh, Harbin can be good, especially if you're running around China walls and things along those lines, but otherwise, frankly, also kind of irrelevant. Um, Chaklov, irrelevant, and everybody loves Breast and says how good she is, and she is pretty good as a frontline ship because she can heal everybody, and she's super strong, so she is relevant. So the the the, the DR ships in this are much more relevant than the others. Uh, PR6, uh, pretty much everybody here, uh, except for except for Flandre. I think Flandre is actually terrible. Um, I've heard good things about Felix. I've not used her much myself, but I've heard a lot of good things about her. Shimanto in my testing and playing, she is super, super good. Um, Hindenburg is like, you saw it earlier. Hindenburg is a fucking truck. Okay. Hindenburg maxed out. will just truck damage. She is literally just damage, just da like just damage, 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 damage. And, uh, I have found great success with Kier Sarge. She is absolutely fantastic. So. If you ever get to that point, there you go. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, that's my that's my advice on your priority research as far as like what you want to look at going forward in the future. Um, I, like I said, I would eventually get Anchorage and and make sure you finish out that hot curry and then go back and get Monarch because Monarch's really useful. Um, gear lab gear to look out for in the gear lab. You can make Seattle guns in here. These are like the best HE gun for CLs more or less. Um, da, 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 da. you already know about the Georgia gun, surface torps. These are actually kind of useful. Um, yeah, these are actually kind of useful. Uh, I found a pretty good use of these in World 15. Um, I was kind of against them, but they actually are pretty pretty useful, especially because I believe if they're recorded, they are also acoustic. Yeah, they're they're magnetic, so they're actually pretty pretty damn good. Um. Saying Harbin is irrelevant kind of hurts. She still performs good in World 15, but yeah, someone like Shimato will perform better. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm just saying, like, in terms of, like, 100% efficiency of your account, Harbin brings nothing to the table, right? Like, there are other options and better options in other areas. You can only have, in, in regular world content, you can only have two fleets. So, you're going to rather have 
Shimanto than Harbin in World 15. It's just it's just the way it works. And I've used Harbin in World 15, and I ended up switching Harbin out for uh, Shimanto. She's quite nice in PvP. Yes, she is. I use her in PvP all the time. But again, PvP doesn't matter. Don't ask me PvP questions, all right? I, I, I understand how the PvP meta works. I understand how PvP in Agilene works. There is literally no point. Okay? No point. I will never I will never recommend someone getting a character specifically for PvP ever unless they ask me specifically for that. Right? Yeah. Um flapjacks are the expensive kind of great fighter, you know, kind of best fighter in the game. Uh tiger cats are good too, but they're all expensive and kind of make um frankly Hell Divers, the SB, the, the the Hell Diver is the only dive bomber you will ever need other than a Tenrai. You can upgrade them to the Experimentals, but it's like a small difference in damage. So. Oh, you can build the Drake gun in there now. I didn't know that. I didn't know we could build the Drake gun in here. Why would anybody why would anybody want to build the Drake gun with top secret ordinance? That is way too expensive for a gun that is frankly like okay, but not like amazing, right? Yeah, the experimental is a luxury upgrade, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, these are really good in PvP since we're talking about PvP, especially if you have the uh, item that converts them to magnetics for their first shot. They have a, a much narrow, narrower shot. I like them a lot. I actually really, really like these torpedoes. Uh, one of the best AA guns in the game for actual anti-air ships. Uh, second best, and then also just, this is just really good for uh, battleships and any character that needs a little bit extra hit. So like your light carriers and things along those lines. Sea Hornet's really good, but super expensive. Uh, you already know the wyvern is good. I have been using my spearfish. I haven't. I've noticed. I've noticed like maybe a small increase to damage over using other torpedo bombers when when this works, especially against light uh, light armor because it's got the rockets on top of the regular stuff. Right? Is it does it, it? It's an answer to both scenarios, and I think it's better in uh, in World Fifteen because you end up facing enemies with a lot of different armor types. Right. That's basically my comment on that. Um, the bitter is the best submarine torp in the game. So if you can get these, which it looks like you can, you can, you can make quite a few of these actually. In fact, you can make six, which means you could have two on all of your, what call it right now. I just want to throw that out. You can actually make six of these, which means you could put one of them or two of them on all three of your uh, submarines. So you should maybe want to look into that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Now he has the materials. He has the materials. You know, it's only 3 or 40, only 1887, 21 or Like, he definitely has plenty of mats. He might not have enough of these. G7s are good enough for now. I mean, yeah, but you can make the best. Why, why settle for less when you can make the best? Just saying. Anyways, moving on. Um, this DD gun's pretty good, but mostly for gunboats. Right? Uh, uh, this is a small upgrade. Mm -hmm. Never build this. It's terrible. It's a Sashi gun. The rest of these don't matter. Don't matter. Accelerator for DDs. Which means they fire more often. That's what an accelerator is. Just in case anybody didn't know that. Um, Torp dive bombers. Uh, this is uh, the Ryusei's. And then timing. Basically, the rest of these are all there for timings. Which I don't really get into. Because I don't really care about all that stuff. Uh, one of the best DD guns in the game with the AP for AP shells. It's actually a pretty good CL gun, especially for battleships. Da -da 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 -da. Barrage gun. You already know the surface torps. Nobody goes to Iron Blood for anti-air, that's for sure. Um, I've heard, uh, so I think Yummy talked about these being really good in World 15 um, as a substitute fighter. If you don't have like flapjacks and stuff, because they're easy to build, right? They're super easy to build. You can use these on your fighter, on your uh, carrier fleet, uh, off to the side, and in the main fleet. 
And then uh, I, I believe this might be a slight upgrade over it. I'm not sure. I've not used these, but yeah. Yeah, but I think they're I think they're bis they're bis for uh they're bis for it. Yeah, they're that they're good enough. Yeah, they're good enough. They'll they're really cheap to make, so. Um and here's the the Ju eighty seven. This is actually a really good dive bomber. Uh for for your iron blood ships, like the for your AVP to trigger her passive or Graf Zeppelin to trigger her passive. Um, basically, the difference between these and the Rioses is the angle and the speed at which they drop, right? These drop a little bit closer and at a tighter angle, whereas Rioses drop further back and at a wider angle. So it's all based on, like, what you're what you're trying to do. Do you have a slow to stop the enemy? Then you're probably going to, if you have something like a time stop, you're probably going to want to use the Rioses. If you don't, you might want to use those just for, like, a quicker, you know, land, basically. You already know the GC was Cortex, uh, Acoustics. Uh, I believe the Ryose does actually does drop one more torp. I think there's like slightly damage or something something along those lines as well. But it's all a matter of like how do you actually get it to hit, basically. Farming in archives, gotcha. I have no idea if these new surface torps are good or not, but I think they look cool. I like the art for these. That's that's what I'm gonna say. I don't I don't I don't know if they're good or not. That's right. They have light armor efficiencies, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are good for light armor bosses. Yeah, yeah. I think they look cool. I like the art for them, personally. I don't know. I was like, like every once in a while, I like certain pieces of gear, whether it's good or not. I like it just because the art looks cool. Call me call me a scrub. Um, they're pretty relevant in World 15 because you do have uh, some light armor bosses that would be very like to, so that when if you brought them they you would like you would notice it right. Um, and if they're a spread angle, then yeah, that could be a little rough because I don't think they're acoustic. So you'd probably have to run the uh, if you wanted at least the first shot to be uh, magnetic, you'd have to run the uh, magnetic torp modification. So so that is some some things to work on as far as gear and stuff in the lab. Let's go ahead and move on to your world progress. You are at world 14. So, so for you, this is your mob plate, is your Iron Blood, Soccer Empire, Eagle Union, farming experience, farming experience. Okay, so something to consider right now is when you get to world 14, when you're when you start doing your world 14, these are your most important characters, right? Your destroyers are going to be some of your most important characters. So Hatsutsuki, Kawakaze, Laffy 2, Shimakaze, and Otto are probably going to be a combination of these ships are going to be the destroyers that you're running in those fleets for damn sure, right? Especially Otto and Laffy uh, and Shimakaze. Uh, Hatsutsuki is pretty good too. And then Kawakaze with her item is also quite strong. So, uh, but Otto can be, yeah, Otto can be your tank in world, uh, in world, uh, in world 14. Um, Shout out to all the lurkers out there today. Uh, I missed it, but Sayahiyama, uh, Sayahiyama, Sayahiyama, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the Moving Shakers. I hope you're having a good day. Auto streaming lab I do already plan to use. As for the others, they are not ready yet. Yeah. Well, you gotta get them ready. Yes, Mary Rose is actually pretty good as well. Yes. And then... Ugh. And then obviously the various healers that you have will also be quite useful for that. So. All right, let's go ahead uh, and check out. Bait. I'm not going to buy your shop. You can, you can do your own shop. Uh, but obviously Operation Siren, Operation Siren just reset today. So um, we'll just look at your general progress of 173 out of 360. I think that's, pr honestly, I think that's pretty good um, for where you're at. Honestly, I think that's I think that's pretty good for uh, for having only played for uh, less than a year or whatever. That's good. If you can make three, that's good enough because I know one of the players will be in the gutter. Okay, when I get them, Guam and still have the other ones are working on those. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but yeah, between between these these uh, these fleets, you should be fine. You got solid battleship fleet with a solid ass front line. Uh, even if they're not like fully dev 30 
um, a good mob fleet with two double healer and a bunch of strong ships in the front line to survive and also just do damage. Uh, a little bit of cross fleet from her, and the rest are kind of like whatever. And then a decent carrier fleet with a with a time stop and uh, a lot of dive bomber potential with uh, Helena buff. And then a speed, and then a speed down and damage increase from Rune Muse, and then just torpedo memes from Shim Shimakaza. You just slot her in for another cross fleet, basically. So, but the fourth fleet is kind of like whatever. That's basically that's basically what I would say with these three these three fleets. Um, the problem with v Veneto Vittorio here is, and it was something I noticed, is that I don't know. Yeah, you don't have. You don't have like. Oh, you do have Duca. I didn't even catch that. You do have Duca. Duca actually probably could have. So you could put Duca in here over, say, Guam or Laffy as well. Um, yeah, you could put Saratoga up here instead for the mobbing as well. But the reason I say that is because of Veneto Vittorio's passive, right? Where she gets a uh, re decreased reload for uh, other Italian ships. You definitely could do that. You could put Duca in here and she counts herself. So that's really all you would need, basically. And you could you could run that. That's another way to go about that, actually. Now that I'm looking at it again, you could bring Duca in there instead. Because Duca is also a... Like, if you really wanted to do, like... You could do something like this. Let's let's we could just swap swap some of these things around. Uh, da, 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 da. You also have Unzen. You don't have Unzen on your favorites. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Oh, she was. How did I miss Unzen that entire time? That's weird. How did I miss Unzen? That's really weird. Huh. I would have set this up a little differently then. But anyways. I'm gonna refavorite Duca because he's actually quite good. You could do something like this um, for either um, extra torpedoes, right? So you have all the answers. Um, I want to she dies more than passing my other ships. I mean, she has a self heal. Remember quickly, in here somewhere. Yeah, she creates a shield and restores max HP. So uh, she's really not that squishy as you might think. Um, and then, or if you just really wanted to go crazy with it, you could just make a torpedo meme, uh, play a fleet built for, to attack, for tackling heavy armor, uh, basically by using, uh, Unzen, Duka, and Shimakaze in a single fleet. And that would be quite the, quite the bonus. Uh, that's very possible. But we'll go ahead and throw Laffy 2 back in here. We'll just let it go back to what it was. So, I have to use her on my front line with Sila as a second tank, and Duca died first every time. I mean, where against what content? Yeah, Noshiro is also an option for that as well. You can use Noshiro, Unzen, and Shimakaze for a, a Torp fleet as well. Duca's mostly used in PvP usually, anyways. Usually in Farming 13.4. Hmm. That is that is strange, but 13. But 13 uh, 4 is not an easy map either, so. I think the main reason she dies is because she doesn't have any anti air, right? At that point, 13 4, that's probably because Duca is not a super high anti air ship, if I remember correctly. That would be my assumption. Yeah, that's, that's relatively low for a CL. Especially since she doesn't have, like, any skills oriented toward that, I don't think. Does she? Uh, yeah, I don't know why she'd be dying so much. That is strange. Proficiency is kind of low. I don't know. That is strange. She's not, like, I wouldn't use her as an off tank anyways, but it is strange that she'd be dying that much. So. Alright. Well, that is that is your Operation Siren. You can chase those fleets up if you want, but that's that's kind of like the basis of what you have right now that I would kind of go with, perhaps. I don't think it's about it. Like, you could probably add more damage in here. Somewhere, like, replace one of these, replace one with Saratoga, and then find another carrier to put in the carrier fleet, like, Illustrious or something along those lines for safety reasons. Because Saratoga actually would be, um, would be fine. Like, say if you wanted to throw her here, and then throw Illustrious in here, and bam, there you go. You have a pretty good mob. She also has the, the, the gun, right? The CA gun that she fires, so which is pretty good. And then a little bit of protection for your carrier fleet. So. 
yeah, try it out. See what happens. Try mix it around a little bit. Uh, pair them up, and uh, see what you see what you come up with. All right. Um, I think I think that's it. I think we actually got through. I think we got through everything. Uh, yeah, chapter fourteen and fifteen preparation is you need you need to have your destroyers for chapter fourteen ready to go, and a couple of healers. For chapter 15, you need your anti-airships and at least three healers ready to go. And the other thing with chapter 14 is that you definitely need to be 120 to 125, and for chapter 15, you definitely need to be 125. Okay? If you want to have an easy time, 125. So. 125. And then, like I said, as far as gear, keep opening your gear boxes if you need to. But otherwise, it's just a matter of it's just a matter of like doing your research and just grinding out gear from that, and then uh, doing your opsi to get the upgrade prints that you need for other gear and for crafting for crafting gear, right? Because you can craft a lot of that gear out of the metal lab as well. So, any other questions? Anything else you want me to look at? Yeah, cats are something you definitely like. You can work on them. And they're good, and they do provide stats, and they do provide all these different things. They're super good, and blah, 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 blah. But they're just a gold sink, and uh, there's, it's all RNG-based. So, uh, yeah, it's not it's not 100%, uh, 100 worth it. So, yeah, get a couple good ones and call it a day. Exactly, exactly. So, all right. Well, that is going to be the end of this account review, I believe, uh, unless you have any other For those questions. of you watching on YouTube, you guys can, you guys can say bye to YouTube now. Those of you watching on YouTube, uh, thank you for checking out this content. If you like this type of content and you want to see more of it or you want to get your account reviewed, please kind of come on over to twitch.tv slash Live, where I do account reviews every week uh, for Agile Lane players and for Honk Ice RL and things along those lines. And if you want your account reviewed, uh, it's just a, just a town point redemption. Just You just got to show up early and, and be here for it. And uh, if you like it, please leave a like. Maybe consider subscribing. Maybe a comment or two. I just hit over 500 subscribers, so I'm super, super happy. And yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later.